Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Animesh Shaha and today we will be discussing about SPRT or Stereotactic Body Radiotherapy. So SPRT basically a radiotherapy technique which uses 3D or 4D imaging along with highly precise high dose of radiation usually in small number of sessions usually uh, one to eight session and the focus high the uh, high dose of radiation to the tumor or the cancer and that is why there is very minimal damage to the healthy normal organ it is often called stereotactic ablative radiotherapy but when it's used for brain tumor or brain lesion it is called stereotactic radio surgery So, uh, various tumor or cancer can be treated with SVRT. Number one, primary tumor involving lung or uh, liver or adrenal gland or spine or pancreas, prostate can be treated with SVRT. Number two, metastatic tumor involving the lung, uh, liver, spine, adrenal glands can be treated with SVRT. Uh, sometimes some benign tumors of the spine can also be treated with SBRT. So SBRT basically works like other form of radiation by damaging DNA of the tumor cells or cancer cells. That is how they uh, lose, the cancer cells lose their ability to reproduce and proliferate. And that is why they shrink over time. Uh, apart from that, uh, SBRT in long run can also close the blood vessels which apply the tumor cells so that they get robbed from the blood supply and shrinks over time. So SBRT are of different types depending on the type of machine that are used to deliver SBRT. So traditionally linear accelerator machine is used for SBRT. Apart from that, there are other machines like uh, helical tomotherapy or uh, cyber knife or proton beam therapy can also be used for SBRT treatment. So uh, SBRT is well tolerated by most patients and side effects are minimal and a patient who develops side effect also depends on the which area of the body we are treating. Some of the common early side effects of SBRT include fatigue, nausea, vomiting, tiredness, skin changes, uh, weakness, etc. Uh, late side effect depends on the area of the body treated. Uh, some of the late side effect includes uh, weakness in the bone which might be uh, uh, more likely to get fracture, changes in bowel or bladder, changes in uh, lung, changes in skin, changes in spinal cord, etc. So uh, the outcomes or the result of SBRT can be obvious. Uh, over a period of time. For benign, for non-cancerous tumor, the effect might take uh, 18 months to two years for the tumor to shrink. The main purpose of treatment in benign tumor is to keep the tumor static and uh, prevent them from growing. In malignant tumor, the response occurs faster, faster usually uh, within few months and uh, the control uh, are usually very effective. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.